Right, YouTube, it's Shadow King, King Nasru, and I'm here with my review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 79. And yes, the shades are back on, so this is not a shit just got real episode. As we continue the fight between Basil from Universe 9 and my boy, Majin Buu. So, Basil seems to keep going on the offensive and seems to be uh, getting the upper hand on Majin Buu. But we all know that's not true because Boo has a very durable body, is capable of regenerating, and can hold back. Which he pretty much already shows because he's pretty much just having fun with this fight. And Boo then starts to get a little bit serious, and uh, Basil has to be a little easier on his toes, but he still thinks he can get an easy victory on this. And everybody's just weirded out by how strange uh, Universe 7's fires are, including uh, Hellas, who was the one who said that. And for those who, don't, who didn't watch my previous video, uh, Hellas is the female god of destruction that looks like Cleopatra or Nefertiti. Uh, and if you don't know who those are, then good grief, you need to go back to school. Anyway, uh, Go Goku sensing that. Oh, actually, let me before I go into that. For some reason, Goku and nobody else that can sense key cannot sense the uh, dangerous trio's uh, key, or as uh, the pretentious douchebag of Kai Supreme Kai of Universe Nine, Ro said. The trio de danger. God, so, so sounds so pretentious. And yeah, they can sense the key. Now a lot of people think that uh, that the Basso, Bergamo, and Lavender uh, have some sort of god key, and that probably might be why Goku can't sense it. Except Goku is capable of sensing god key, and as has been plenty experienced at doing it. So I don't think he that they don't have God key. I think that they may have like a different type of key. Or may have some ability that allows them to mask their key, kinda like how Hit does. Uh but anyway, uh Goku senses that I mean can at least tell that Basil is holding back and tells him to go f go fight seriously. Ah, Goku. I always do wanted a fair uh epic battle, even if it's at the expense of your friends or your family. Classic Goku. So Basil says that he's gonna go all out and consequences be damned if anything happens to Boo. And he starts to use a lot of attacks like the uh I I I I kind of forgot what they were what some of them were called. I know one of them was called, I think it was Wolfgang Barrage, but I forgot the sec what the second one was called. Uh, but these are probably going to be techniques that uh will probably be in Dragon Ball Z Universe two, or uh, in the like DLC for format, or maybe Dragon Ball Z Universe three if that ever becomes a thing. But I do kind of like that. Uh, I do kind of like how these some of these fighters are going to have different special specialties and special abilities. I mean, because it can't all be like uh, punches, kicks, and key blasts, because that would seem kind of uh, kind of generic for Dragon Ball. So they got to add a bit more variety, make these characters more unique and more interesting, and. So Basil decides to go all out and even creates a hole within Majin Buu's stomach, but it doesn't really do anything to him because, well, he's Majin Buu and, it's, like I said, he's durable and can regenerate better than anyone else. Unfortunately, Mr. Singh got her, got her in the process and this proceeds to trigger B Buu. And I, I promised Abel I would say this, 
But yeah, he basically got his, that's my Boma sort of thing. It's, or as we should call it, that's my, you know, I don't think I should go that far due, due to me being a Christian. Yeah. But yeah, Boo gets triggered and proceeds to beat the ever-living crap out of Basil. Even uh, performing that um, that tossing thing that the Hulk did back in the Avengers with Loki. You, you know what that scene would look like. And then proceeds to give him a ring out. But the Omni King said, the two Omni Kings say that that's good enough. And that they decide to get rid of the uh, ring out rules for the uh, Tournament of Power. So, that's a pretty interesting thing. So, either the... Either you're going to have to knock out your opponent unconscious, or they're going to have to forfeit. Heck, I, I even think they that the Omni King might even allow killing. I mean, it would make sense since the, uh, since the universes are all at stake if they lose. So I guess the, that killing would be permitted so the fighters could go fight to the best of their abilities. <sighs> So, speaking of which, to find the best abilities, uh, Basil uh, asks Ro to give him this uh, this uh, special fruit, and this powers him up even more, even making him a bit larger and buffer. And Beerus declares that that's cheating, with Ro countering that Boo is cheating by regenerating, but Beerus is... Uh, counters that argument by saying that's just Boo's natural ability, but what uh, Ro and Basil are doing are special drug enhancements, more or less, and that should be against the rules. However, the Daishinkin says that uh, said that as long as the Omni King allows it, uh, then that's then they're going to uh, pretend that nothing's wrong, even giving him a huge stare down to back off and intimidating Beerus. Ooh, do not mess with the Daishinkin. Unless you're the Omni King, then you can mess with anybody. And then we see that uh, ba that Basil and Boo continue to go all, go all out with Basil getting uh, getting some good hits on Boo, but they're ultimately not good enough. And eventually. Uh, Basil get, leads to another onslaught, and Boo just tanks it. And Boo even goes to saying that, sure, Basil's strong, but Boo is even stronger. Oh, uh, I can't wait to see how Josh Martin hands that line, because that was so badass when he said it. And then Boo proceeds to fire his uh, Majin Kamiyamiha, Albeit it's the wrong color. I don't know how Toei screwed that one up, but whatever. Um, and Basil is intimidated by this and tries to avoid it, but, well, it, it turns out that he's, his techniques exhausted his legs, so he won't be able to get away from the Kamiyamiha, and he just has to take it like a bitch. Which he does, and it knocks him out unconscious. Winning the match for Universe 7. And everybody gets a good ending. And Boo heals uh, Mr. Satan. And Ro is completely dumbfounded by, by how he over by how he underestimated Universe 7. But next, they're going to send in uh, the Coyote member of the Dangerous Trio. Because I'm not calling it that pretentious name. Uh, Lavenda, who is the coyote, and he asks, can he kill his opponent? And Bagano says that, yeah, he can do that if it allows him to win. And it's in, and then the next preview, it shows that Lavenda is going to be going up against Gohan. So, yeah, Gohan fanboys will get to see the Gohan fight again. Whether he wins or loses, that's a whole nother story. So they'll probably end up really happy or really pissed off again. I'll be, I'll be happy either way. 
oh no, this was a really great episode. We got to see Boo shine and uh, have some really funny moments. We also got to see some special abilities of what the Universe 9 characters were capable of. And we got to see some more interesting dynamics between the, the different gods of the universes. With even uh, Kibito and Beerus being disgusted by how uh, arrogant and pretentious and just how much of a douche Ro is. Even uh, Cedra, from, who's the god of destruction of the universe, nine thinks that Ro was going too far. It's like if... If Ro was a combination of Zamasu and Barry Khan, though that would be a fitting punishment for Zamasu being used to a weak, arrogant, pathetic mortal. Uh, one can only dream. But, yeah, and a lot of people... I want to talk about this for a little bit. A lot of people were expecting that Boo was going to get so pissed off that he might even turn into Super Boo or Kid Boo again. But they got to understand, that part of him is gone. He's not... The reason he could turn into Super Boo and Kid Boo back in the Boo saga was because that was still part of him. Those were representations of his evil side. When Boo separated that part of him that no longer became him he became his own entity and when Kid Boo died in the Boo saga he was reincarnated into Oob into a good person so that part is the Kid Boo what we saw the best the new Boo could do is just get really angry and power up his level but it won't be the same as turning into Super Boo or Kid Boo so I'm glad we killed that up. All in all, really great episode. Glad that Boo finally got the spotlight. And this totally makes up for him not finding the Universe 6 tournament. So next, we'll see how Gohan does. And I'll catch you guys later.